What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for the new romantic comedy titled My Boyfriend's Meds, which the uh, Spanish title uh, is Las Peladoras de Mi Novio. And this is actually from the uh, Lionsgate Spanish company uh, called Pantoliano, uh, who had uh, distributor movies like uh, Instructions Not Included, which is actually pretty good. That, that movie is pretty funny. Eugenio Derbez is, is just awesome. And they also uh, did that uh, Will, what was that Will Ferrell uh, Spanish comedy, uh, Casa de Mapadre. Uh, they done, they produce some pretty good stuff. And so they put out a new film called uh, My Boyfriend's Meds. Oh uh, my god, this is sick, right? Which, yeah, I've been here. Anyway, uh, which My Boyfriend's Meds is a pretty. Hey, how are you? What's up? Right there. Right in here? Yeah. Stop that, guys. Anywho, uh. Thanks, bro. Okay. As I was saying, uh, yeah, My Boyfriend's Meds is, is a little cringy. But it's actually pretty funny. I mean, it's you know it's about this uh, high talent, high powered uh, marketing um, executive uh, named Jess, played by uh, Sandra Akiveria, who ends up falling for uh, this uh, mattress this mattress uh, star owner named uh, Hank, played by uh, Jamie Camille, who's best known for Jane the Virgin. And so they end up, you know, falling for each other. And the thing is, he has uh, like a bi like a you know bipolar disorder, and and uh, the only thing that will keep him from hallucinating is his meds. And so one day, uh, you know, Jess and him end up going to this uh, retreat for our workplace, and he ends up forgetting his meds at his at his home. So uh, he has to uh, call his doctor to get the meds back and all that, and. Uh, he has to try to find a way to stop, uh, you know, he literally has to prevent from uh, hallucinating and all. And by the way, his doctor, I'm not joking, his doctor is literally played by George Cassandra himself, Jason Alexander. So, it, it was pretty cool seeing, uh, you know, it was pretty cool seeing uh, George Cassandra in this movie. Anyway, uh, and he also had Brooke Shields, who, by the way, I'm just going to say this. Brooke Shields, that woman just doesn't age. That, that, I can't remember how old she is. I think she's probably, I don't know, in her 50s or maybe her late 40s. Brooke Shields still looks good. I mean, I've, I've always adored Brooke Shields. You know, Blue Lagoon is is a guilty pleasure of mine. I love that movie. So, anything Brooke Shields is in, I'll definitely give a watch. And she's kind of one of the reasons why I decided to check this movie out. Granted, she doesn't have that big of a part. She plays like this uh, this retreat uh, woman who uh, ends up uh, helping people relieve stress and all that. And she's actually she was actually pretty solid in her part. And uh, the lead actress, Sandra Acaveria, I know she was terrific. Her chemistry with uh, Jamel uh, Kamel was pretty great. Uh, some of the, there was also one uh, character who was very uh, cringeworthy. He kept like drooling a lot. He kind of looked like that uh, bulldog from uh, from Tom and Jerry in a way. I mean that that scene was pretty. There's some cringy moments in this. Like there's the. Uh, there's the uh, drool um, scene with the guy. Uh, there's uh, like there's literally a scene where uh, Hank is so hallucinating he literally sees his pills talking, not really talking, but moving and all that. You know how when you know you're on like those uh, shrooms things and you see uh, like you start hallucinate. Well, he's hallucinating because he you know is uh, suffering from uh, bipolar and all that. And this movie was I I really got kicked out of it. I mean I. It's not really a great film, nothing like that, but I really like the chemistry between the two. It has some pretty funny moments. It's a nice, charming little film, and I really got a kick out of that. Now, this is also part, like, there is uh, some, uh, you know, Spanish subtitles in it, and there are some uh, Spanish uh, parts in this, and then the uh, rest is in English. So it's not really much of a uh, foreign film, just like y'all know, so... But it, it, was still reg it was still great regardless. I mean, I... It was pretty great. Um, anyway, um, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, did you have a chance uh, to check out my boyfriend's meds? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing off.